It's April 1st, and we all know that April 1st is April Fool's Day. And to celebrate this, uh, there was something in the background that is missing. Happy April Fool's. So, uh, yesterday was um, Easter. But also, Joe Biden has made that day too um, a controversial, for some reason, holiday. Um, or like a... A visibility day and that day was transgender day of visibility and um to before we start talking about this um i want to make two things clear um one when it comes to the lgbtq community um i respect them um i might even support them at some times um i'm not part of that community i am a heterosexual man so i like women um but I do respect them for what they are. I'm not out there freaking throwing pitchforks and having torches, you know, outside the community, um, make, hoping that they, you know, come back to straight. I'm not like that. <clears throat> I support, I respect them, you know, so. I have friends who are like that. I have some family that are like that. Um, so yeah. Um, second, um, when it comes to Christianity, that's my that's my religion I support the best. Um, I'm not a strong Christian. I don't go to churches because I think churches are actually just money laundering scams. So, um, yeah, I believe in God. Um, I sometimes pray when we eat. So yeah, that was my thing. So, now that it's out of the way, let's talk about this. Um, so Joe Biden has released, um, that day to be Transgender Visibility Day and that is also Easter <clears throat> so we got two things happening one we got Transgender Visibility Day two we got Easter so we have something to celebrate the LGBTQ community and we have another that supports Jesus Christ and this is not good because you know why because we are celebrating a day of Jesus and we are celebrating a day of transgender. These two don't really mix, in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> because, obviously, in the Bible, if you guys know about the Bible, um, God didn't want people to, you know, marry, eat, like, the same sexes, or change their body because it's known as unclean in the Bible. And that's cool. Um, but I think we have come to a time where I think we just have to accept them for who they are because they don't hurt anybody. Uh, they don't, <clears throat> like, force anybody to join the community, you know, they're not, like, forcing people to join them like a freaking cult. They're just humans. They're actually humans. So I came to the conclusion that we should just love who we love because at least try and respect everybody because if we don't respect, um, you know, if we just keep hating on each other, we just keep, um, not respecting one another, that's not good, I, I can tell. So, yeah. Um, so this is a big controversy happening on Twitter, big on Twitter, like huge on Twitter about that, um, day. So I'm gonna throw things up. Um, my take on it is that I think I want both parties to win. I want a win-win situation. So both transgenders and, um, Christians plus Easter happy loving people will be happy, you know, while both parties, um, are happy with one another so i think the whole lgbtq community hate like just actually just hating on them like actually just shitting on them is dumb you're a douchebag if you do um i have no problem if you don't support the community i have no problem if you don't was uh well if you just don't was support the community but at least try and respect the community because they have done nothing wrong to you, from what I know of. I know they can get really, um, like, very, like, like attention, I can say. You know, um, the whole flag thing, um, in my opinion, I don't really think, I kind of don't really like that. Um, because that's just, in my opinion, unnecessary. In my opinion. Um, <clears throat> so I don't know what else to say. Um, the whole label thing, like different pronouns and all that, I don't think that's necessary as well. Um, it's case accusing. I don't think a lot of people would like that. Um, teaching about, um, <clears throat> and also teaching about the um, LGBTQ community at school, I don't think 
we should do that because that's more of like a social thing that should be taught at home rather than a place of education. I'm sorry, that's my opinion. Um, so when it comes to Christianity, um, the churches are a big thing. Um, they are money laundering scams, I believe, in my opinion, because I think the only thing is that you don't give money to God, you give money to the pastor. Uh, and people who are very dedicated to God and all that in the Bible, they kind of aren't, if you tell. Um, so when you see people in the churches, they're like all happy, all joyous, you know, they're all like clean. And when they're out of the churches, they'll say bad words, they're being mean, and they're just being actual buttheads. Most of the people at church. <clears throat> or some, at most. So... So other than that, let's talk about this. I think the best way to, like, sort the situation out, in my opinion, is that, and before we do, just remember I'm a dumb brain, I don't know anything about this. But, I think the best way to sort this out is... If we move the Transgender Visibility Day to a different month, or at least like a different day, I will say that in my I will say that we can probably move it to June because that's um, Pride Month, and I think that's fitting for that day. And we can just keep Easter like where it is because you know Jesus didn't resurrect on December, Jesus didn't rec resurrect on a you know November. He resurrected on uh, March slash April. So I think we should keep Easter there because that's reasonable because that's when Jesus Christ was resurrected, you know, for three days after being crucified. And I think we should move Transgender Visibility Day to somewhere around June because one, it's not changing anything, you know, we're still going to support them. And two, I think it will just help um, the beef out. Um, so if we put um, today on Pride Month, that will be a better thing. Rather than putting it on a day where it's all about Jesus Christ, but we're supposed to be celebrating Jesus Christ. So, that's my thing. And yeah, that's the whole controversy. People on Twitter are going hog wild about it. Um, Instagram people are going hog wild about it. And these are all people who are very dedicated to God. And they all hate them because they believe that this is a sin. And I know that's not wrong. In the Bible, it does say that. You know, things like these are sins, but I have come to a conclusion, a reasonable conclusion, that I support them now, I respect them, and I think that's the best outcome that we can do. So, I don't want to, like, reasonably unhate, you know, hate people for who they are. I don't want to respect them. But unless they do something bad to me, or unless they hurt me physically or mentally, then I might, you know, think about the other side. So, yeah, those are my... Such a, that's my conclusion. That's my opinions on both sides of the party. I want to keep things very neutral because I don't want to get hated on both sides. At least I'll try and, you know, hate both sides equally, you know, so I, you know, but yeah, hate and hate both sides and um, appeal to both sides equally. So yeah, um, that's my thing. Hope this helps. I hope you know my stand on this and yeah. Happy April Fools. Did you find what's missing? Pretty sure you didn't. Alright, thanks for watching.